Our most basic horizontal pulls uh, will be body weight pulls. Uh, we'll start with an inverse row. Uh, we'll have clean grip, maybe a little more narrow, just outside of shoulders. Uh, the biggest thing to focus on this is that coach, so knees, hips, shoulders are all in one line. We've got a tight spine. Coach has got her feet bent. This is the most basic so that we can have a little bit of help with our lower body to pull. She's going to pull and drive her elbows back. She's going to bring her, the bottom of her sports bra for girls or just below their chest for males uh, to the bar. We've got overhand. You might see underhand inverse row. Again, we're just going to flip our hands upside down. We're going to have our palms facing back to us. We're going to do the exact same thing. Okay, if this is, becomes easy and we need to make it more challenging, coach can straighten her legs out completely and then pull her chest all the way to the bar. You're not allowed to advance to the next situation until you can prove that every rep your chest gets to the bar. If you just pull and your chest does not touch the bar, it gets about a centimeter, an inch away, you have not completed the full rep. You need to focus on the full entire rep. The next thing that we'll talk about is our leaning back ring inverse row. It's the first part of the ring inverse row. What we'll have here is that she's in a good position. She's in about a 45 degree lean. Her hands are out in front of her. Spine's in a good position. From here, she's really going to focus on pulling back, contracting everything in the back. Her hands come all the way to her chest and she'll come right back out. This is our leaning back inverse row. She'll move over here. If this becomes easy and we have just ring inverse row, we'll come over to the rings. Coach, again, will start in the same position that she started with the bar. She'll have her knees bent. She'll pull straight up. As she pulls up, she'll make sure that her hands get all the way to her chest, and she'll come back down. Again, this is our most challenging exercise. If you, again, can perform every hand back to rest, then you can straighten your arms out. A note to note on this, this is just like the push-ups. If we have eccentric or you see a tempo on this, it is the same idea as the push-up. We pull ourselves up to the bar. We want to go five seconds on the way down or on the rings. We can use it on leaning back inverse row. We can use it on ring row or on some sort of a barbell inverse row. If you see eccentric or some sort of tempo, we treat it just like we treat our push-ups.